Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to share with you a wonderful, useful, and free website transport as an edge to help you in certain situations which you are stuck to share your files out from your Linux server. Transfer.sh can help you with following situation. You have a file on your Linux server. You only have internet connection. You are not able to SFTP to it and it's not easy for you to open the firewall port 22 and it's not easy for you to spin up another web service or SFTP service to get you those files. With transfer.sh you can easily share and upload and use it for free to transfer your file out and for your analysis, your logs, your captured packet or your suspicious file you want to check it with virus total. So here is the steps I'm going to show you how to get it done. Now let's start it. As mentioned, Transfer.sh, this website providing a secure and easy and free method to let you to upload your files from command line. You can do it from a PowerShell, you can use in curl, you can use in wget to upload the files, and then you will get the URL to download the files. You upload to Transfer.sh, all files will be encrypted in the transmission using a certificate. You also have an option to encrypt the file. The maximum size is 10 gigabytes and the files will be stored for 14 days on their website for you to download. Here are use cases from the website. You can see there's many, many use cases to wait in you to explore it. So now I'm gonna show you how you can easily to transfer the file. And also, I'm going to show you how to create your own Docker service based on the Docker created by the original author using this command. I also have a blog post to sh show you the steps. You can use it to as a reference. So now, let's start to play with Docker. So I'm going to use Play with Docker to start some instance for testing. If you haven't used it, you can watch my other videos to get the usage how to use Play with Docker to practice your Linux skills. I'm logged in. If you go to the root folder, you will see this docker.log file. It is about uh, 34 kilobytes file. It's a bit long for you to copy, paste it out. If you don't know the command how to paste it out, then it may be a problem for you. For some situation, you even not allowed to copy the contents out from the environment. So how can you get this out? Now we can use transfer.sh, this service, to share this file over the internet, and you can download from your host the machine to analyze it. Just using curl the v dash up load dash file and then the file name eventually you want to put it to transfer.sh this website and you want to give it the name on there. So that's how simple it is then you will see all the information eventually. At the end, you will see this link. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this link using any browser which has internet access to fetch it. So now you can download it directly, which is 34 kilobytes file. You can download it. It will be good for you to look at it from your Windows machine. If you need to analyze it your own tool, that will be much easier for you to do it from the Linux command line. So that 
is how easy you can transfer any files out from your Linux server from the command line, even you don't have SFTP access. You can do it with multiple files. You can encrypt it. Also, the file transmission is also encrypted with the certificate as well, which is signed by let's encrypt. So now I'm going to show you how to create your own self-hosted Docker to store your files if you have a higher security requirement. To deploy transfer.sh Docker, you will find the command from the GitHub page. There are two commands. One is for running as root, or if you don't have root user, then you can use in this parameter, no root, to run. So since we have root access to this instance, so we're going to use in the first command, just copy and then paste in. Less than one minute, your Docker will be up and running. And then you can access it on the port 8080. Let's open the port to see how the website looks like. It's similar like original transfer.sh website, but it's using a different URL. So that's the URL you're going to send your files too. Let's go back, play with Docker. We're going to create a new instance. So in this instance, we're going to have same docker.log file which we want to send to. We're using curl and command upload file parameter, the log file, and then the destination. This time, we're going to use our own URL. Control Shift V to paste the URL you got from the website. You may want to put HTTPS in front of it. At the end, just put the file name. TLS handshake failed. So basically, we don't want to use HTTPS. So we're just using HTTP to transfer this file still okay then it will work in and you will get the URL which you can copy it out and access to it let's give it a try so we're gonna paste the URL here and see how it looks like now we even can see the file content here because we use using HTTP to transfer it over the internet it's a clear text file if you want to explore some other usage, such as you can transfer to S3 bucket or Google Drive, and you can transfer multiple files at one time and encrypt it. You can use in wget to do the transferring as well. There are lots of usage and with parameters which you can explore. It's no limitation. As long as you have imagination, just give it a try. Then you will find a good usage here. So that's pretty much everything I want to share in this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. That will give me a great support. See you in my next episode.